Okay, Fibonacci. So Fibonacci is a retracement or extension. I'm going to show you both at the same time. Uh, so if you take, again, we have to understand higher highs, higher lows, high lows, lower highs. We have to understand what is the significant thing that we're building off. So you have a higher low here, right? So you got a low, you have an equal low. And so this is showing also this horizontal support line. And so you'll take the Fibonacci, you'll click on the low, and you'll take it up to the high. I'm using this right here because we have a retracement, right? So we hit re uh, resistance right here. Uh, we're also kind of at the top of the channel. And so then you see you come down and you have uh, support. Uh, so Fibonacci does act like support and resistance, right? So price comes up, it comes down right into this 38% retracement, right? So here's the high and it comes down into the low retracement. So if we take this high, right, that's where we drew our line, comes down into this 38% retracement, which is, is also a diagonal line, which is also a uh, horizontal support line. And you have 38% uh, retracement, Ding, 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 ding. This is a buy signal. And so then where's price going to go, right? So we're buying at $50. Where's price going to go? The benefit of Fibonacci is, is it gives you these extension marks also, right? So there's one, I think 128, 140, 160, uh, one, 174. I kind of cut mine back from 174 to like 171. Cause for me, I'm trying to get a little bit I'm trying to get out of the market quicker. So I don't use all the Fibonacci's exactly the way that people use them because to me, that's kind of an extremer point, right? I want to get in and out of the market before everybody else is getting in and out of the market. So you got to think of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people using the Fibonacci retracement levels and they're waiting for the perfect level, right? They've got the exact analytical mark of where a level works. I want to be out before they buy or sell. And so uh, I like this area right here. If we see what happened again on the trend lines, the diagonal line, the horizontal line, it all came right to this point and sold off. And now we have a Fibonacci resistance line. So we have a Fibonacci support line. We have a Fibonacci resistance line. And we can see that happens over and over in the market all the time. Uh, let's just take this down to the downside and see what it does. So we have a high here. We have a low here. We're just going to take these two points and see what happens to price. So price comes right down to the 40, one, it's 140 uh, level, which is also at a resistance level, which is also at a diagonal line level, uh, as we've talked about again. So should we be shocked that this found support at this extension, 140? I know it says 40. It's a negative. Um, sorry about that. That's just the way I, I wrote it in. Um, so it's a 140 uh, extension Fibonacci, which confirms this diagonal line, which confirms this horizontal line. Price came right down to it and everybody bought in and it went up. This doesn't happen by circumstance. It happens because everybody's looking at the same thing. And the more confluence you can get by the people who just use Fibonacci as support and resistance, by the people who use horizontal trend lines as support and resistance, as the people who use diagonal lines as support and resistance, there are people who only use one of these and you can be able to use all three. And so that you will have a firm, concrete foundation of where you buy and why you buy. So again, price came right down to $49 and we think that price is going to go up. And so where would price go up to? Uh, well, based off of what we just showed you with the 38% retracement, uh, we draw from the high down to the low and price come up to the first thing is 38, right? We just saw that on the channel where price went to 38 and then continued in the same direction. Well, what same direction are we in right now? Right now, we're actually in a down channel, right? So uh, you've got your higher highs higher, or your lower lows, lower highs. Uh, right now, you don't even have a lower high, right? You have this, this huge down, which makes, once you broke that level, uh, you now are in a downtrend. So now price should come back, test some of these levels in here, which one, and then fall back down. Uh, so... Basically, the first resistance level, because price has to go through this roof, it can't 
not touch that roof. And so if it breaks through that roof, then it will become new support. And then if it breaks through this, which is resistance, it will become new support. If it breaks through this resistance, it'll become new support. And so either price will break this resistance, become new support, or it will resist this and come straight down. And this is how you use Fibonacci retracement. I don't like to use Fibonacci retracement by itself because as you can see, it's hard, right? So there's no support levels here. Maybe this uh, this diagonal line over here, if we, if we took this horizontal line uh, off of this diagonal line and we say, well, there was support. So here is new resistance, right? And we have a Fibonacci uh, level. This 50, there's a little bit of resistance over here or support level over here. So we could draw that over. Uh, and then now you have this 60, right? You have this old... Uh, range and so you come over and you have this 60 resistance you can see all the resistance right up in here also and so we don't know which one just based off the Fibonacci by itself where it's going to go and so it could go to the 38 it could go and I've done that before right so I've traded the 38 I'm like oh, I'm going to get into the downside on the 38 and then it goes to 50 and oh, I'm going to get in at the 50 go down and then it goes to the 60 and then oh, I'm going to trade at the 75 and then it goes down only to keep going up, up, up. So don't trade based off one support or resistance line. Find as many lines of support and resistance. But Fibonacci is a good tool to kind of give you a calculation of if you're close in the range of what Fibonacci people are doing. There are people who only do Fibonacci. And so you want to have the confirmation of what the Fibonacci people are thinking before you trade. The more people you can think like, the better you'll be able to trade because you'll be thinking like multiple groups of people and you'll be able to trade successfully. Until next time.